Now, at the time, uh, uric acid was not really considered very important. It was thought as a, to be a waste product, basically, and it was certainly important in the disease gout when it crystallized in joints, but it really wasn't thought to be important in, in kidney disease. And in fact, there were many papers saying that although it's associated with kidney disease, it probably doesn't have a causal role. And uh, so, but we thought to ourselves, you know, maybe there'd be, maybe in patients who have gout or patients with high uric acid, small amounts of crystals could, could deposit in the kidney that could cause low-grade inflammation in the kidney, and that might uh, make the kidney want to hold on to salt. So we started doing some experiments where we raised uh, uric acid in, in animals. And, and, uh, and so it turns out that humans have higher uric acid than other animals because we lack an enzyme called uricase. And uricase is an enzyme in the liver that degrades uric acid. So humans have a little bit higher uric acid than most other mammals. So in order to raise uric acid in a, in a rat, laboratory rat, we actually gave it this uricase inhibitor, thinking that we were going to get low-grade inflammation in the kidney and crystals, and that that might cause high blood pressure. But what we found was that uh, we did get high blood pressure. The animals became hypertensive when we raised uric acid, but when we looked in the kidneys, we didn't see any crystals at all. And so uh, it really, we, we had to face the fact <laughs> that uric acid um, might actually cause hypertension in the rat. And, you know, at that point, you know, it was known that 25% of people, 30% of people with high blood pressure have a high uric acid. And if you have bad hypertension, it's like 50 or even 75%. Um, and so it was sort of, um, you know, a re remarkable observation because it suggests that we might have found a cause of hypertension. We, we submitted our paper saying that, you know, raising uric acid might actually raise blood pressure. And we had to be very careful. We sent it to Nature and of course they, they, they um, were not interested because it was too provocative really because uh, everybody had more or less thought of uric acid as being a waste product. Um, and so we ended up publishing in a journal called Hypertension. Uh, which is a nice journal. In 2000, I moved to, uh, to Baylor in Houston, Texas. And, uh, and while I was down there, um, we, we, we started doing some studies and we, we had another discovery, which was that what happens is uh, when the uric acid, when you raise it, it causes inflammation in the kidney. And then, uh, and then that raises the blood pressure. And if you lower the uric acid, you lower the inflammation and you lower the blood pressure. But we realized that there was another thing going on, which is that if you kept the inflammation going a long time, then the kidney drove the blood pressure even when you corrected the uric acid. 